Oh, yes. <laughs> I was just reading this June 30th, uh -huh. July 6th, 2018, Economist. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of interesting. It says there's a tech giant everyone is watching. Oh, Netflix. <laughs> You know, I didn't know that everybody was watching them, but could you run through Netflix and get me every IP address? Yes, since everybody's watching them, I thought we should. <laughs> I just wanted to know their servers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I know a lot of people pay to be able to download movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of very wealthy individuals that, when you're able to afford it, you get yourself your own personal fallout shelter. Yes. But there's what's known as gamma rays, beta particles, and alpha particles. Yes. Could you see if there's any nuclear fallout in any server of Netflix. <laughs> now, I know you're sitting there. Mm -hmm. You're watching one of your favorite rated R movies where there might expose a breast. They might not. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you begin to notice that... <laughs> Your sexual nerve endings seem to be stimulated. <laughs> when there's nothing really stimulated, it's kind of a drama type of film. Yeah. <laughs> and then you wonder, well, <laughs> these fallout shelters they made in the 50s? Ooch. <laughs> there's a blast shelter, a bomb shelter, a bunker. <laughs> All of them were supposed to protect you from some sort of um, atomic radiation. <laughs> I just, um, if you, if you, uh, a Wikipedia fallout shelter, yes. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally touched it. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> the gamma rays, beta particles, or alpha particles. <laughs> I just wanted, <laughs> wanted to know if Netflix had any of those particles in their servers or no. <laughs> Now, I've been a little concerned because I've really been feeling some sensations of sexuality that I've not been able to talk to a woman about. <laughs> I've had to kind of, I've had to discipline myself. Yes. <laughs> but if I found a woman that did know how to really turn her <laughs> sexuality on by watching Netflix films or <laughs> some other place, <laughs> I'd, I'd want to know what channel is that on? Pooch. <laughs> now, uh, Terra Vivos? Yes. <laughs> Seems to be one of these companies that's really building a lot of these um, fallout shelters, these underground bunkers. <laughs> and I know. You got a permit for it. Good for you. And you had to have yourself one of those because you thought, oh, it's the end of the world. I might as well do it. <laughs> There's going to be a nuclear war. We know what's going to happen. Isn't that right? Raven Rock Mountain Complex, <laughs> Mountain Weather Emergency Operations Center, <laughs> the Warrington Training Center. Oh, true, 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 true. You know, why don't you go through Handel? Now, <laughs> the English have a place called the Central Government War Headquarters that they had during World War II. Yes. Didn't look like anybody was using it. Mm -hmm. But I just thought that a lot of those that have been around for a very long time, yes, they might be using some of these bomb shelters that they built in the, oh, the late 40s. It could be 50s. Yes. Now, you would have thought, well, I got a permit 50 years ago. There's nothing happening there. <laughs> but I just wanted to know about these particles and gamma rays and how can you be on somebody and how could you load the sexual nerve endings? <laughs> now, I have some concerns about the Chinese and I don't know what they're really doing right now. How are the Chinese? Now, uh, I was reading this article. Yeah. Did you know the Chinese have two million individuals that are there for uh, monitoring the actual internet use? You have a huge number of people that actually use the internet. 
And uh, I was reading this. <laughs> uh, was it a special report? No, I think it's about the Chinese. Yeah. Mm. The ultimate walled garden. Yes. 770 million internet users. Uh, numbers, everything, you know, everything, 770. <laughs> <coughs> but what's really exciting is... <laughs> They're employing these two million individuals that they go to work every day to see what people are doing. It's like a private army of corporate employees, specifically there to protect the population from viewing anything that the Chinese government would want, wouldn't want them to know about. Yes. Could you see if the Chinese could find out exactly who those employees are? Now, I know, okay, I was reading in this article, and there seemed like some company got in trouble with Xi Jinping, <laughs> and uh, he's like, no, we can't look at that, okay, <laughs> uh, and they decided, well, we're going to up the number of individuals that is monitoring mm -hmm, the actual usage of the internet, yes, mm -hmm. from uh, 6,000 to 10,000, yes, very apologetic, <laughs> But uh, the problem, they had 4,000 centers on top of the 6,000 the firm already employed uh, working in China's in his, in industry. Some reckon is more than 2 million individuals that are there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say <laughs> that uh, the Chinese army didn't realize that <laughs> there's an army as big as them working at locations where their job is to, <laughs> they, they don't call them, they content control, they are content controllers. <laughs> And it's so good that they have them, okay? <laughs> and I don't want the Chinese to be worried about another... <laughs> <laughs> 